The 2020 Duluth East Virtual Graduation is a WDSE-WRPT partnership co-production with the Independent School District 709. Members of the Class of 2020, distinguished guests, faculty, families, and friends, good evening. I'm Siri Truckee, and it is my honor as co-president of Student Government Exec Board to welcome you to this very special moment in our lives. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, will you please rise for the playing of the National Anthem? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glad the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say Spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Look at how cute! That's me. Oh, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Teachers at East High School are going around to the senior houses and delivering their senior signs. I knew the sign was coming, but I had no idea when. I think it's actually a good surprise. It was really overwhelming. I wasn't expecting all of that. Oh my gosh. I mean, I kind of knew that they that it, something was going to happen, but I was not expecting at like the whole <laughs> shebang, the whole parade. I was kind of surprised to see all of you. It was really nice and it was just amazing to see the teachers who I love and adore because I don't know when I'm going to see them again. So It's kind of nice to see my friends for the first time in a whole month and it's kind of a good way to say hello and potentially goodbye to... See, I want to cry. <laughs> It's, it's hard. I love you. <laughs> so nice. We've been crying on each other's shoulders for a month now. <laughs> but I have biggest rock star here supporting me every single day for four years until the end. As a teacher and a parent, it's, it's, it's been really hard. So, yeah, I love you. <laughs> East has been so important to me these last four years, especially like um, just like everything I've been involved with and how much it's like changed my life and just like having that all taken away and then this all just, it was just really <laughs> a lot. 
it's okay. It something happens to every every generation, and this is just what happened to ours. And we kind of all got to power through it together. And also, it's going to be one hell of a story to tell our kids when we're <laughs> when we're all old. <laughs> as they come in to do their senior drive through They're picking up their caps and gowns and their yearbooks and they're dropping off library books. Anything to now? It would have been nice to finish out the school year in school, but it feels pretty good. It feels like a lot of weight has been lifted off my shoulders. <laughs> we would like to give you hugs, but we have air hugs. So we nice. miss you. We miss you. Best of luck. Congratulations, seniors. Yay! Yay! Nobody around me! It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce the members of our Duluth Public Schools and Duluth East High School Administration. Superintendent Bill Gronseth, Assistant Superintendent Jeff Horton, School Board Members, Chair of the School Board Jill Lawfold, Kelly Derek Etter, David Kirby, Rosie Loeffler Kemp, Alana Oswald, Paul Sanholm, and Sally Trinka. 
Principal Danette Sebo, and Assistant Principals John Flaw and Kyle Rock. It has been my dream to speak at commencement since I was a tiny middle schooler. Now, obviously, this isn't what I imagined graduation would look like back then. Nevertheless, it is a huge honor to speak to you today on behalf of the Greyhound graduating class of 2020 and say farewell to our beloved East High School. In 10th grade, I heard the song Time of Our Lives by Tyrone Wells, and I immediately felt that it was the perfect song for commencement. Since giving this speech has always been my dream, the first time I heard this song, I drafted my entire speech right then and there. Fortunately, you won't have to hear that first draft, but the inspiration remains the same. The song goes like this. This is where the chapter ends. A new one now begins. Time has come for letting go. The hardest part is when you know all of these years when we were here are ending. But I'll always remember, we have had the time of our lives. As a senior amidst the mayhem of the COVID-19 pandemic, this song resonates with every emotion I'm feeling. Despite this abrupt and incomplete end to our high school careers, it's important to remember that this pandemic can't erase the fact that we had a good run. We had a great four years. Freshman year, we walked up to the front doors and were absolutely mortified to find a tunnel of upperclassmen cheering us into the school. We rushed past them into the commons and saw the giant clock at the very end of the cafeteria. As we navigated through school that day, many of us got lost, many of us were late, and many of us had a rather stressful first day. In the following months, with the help of our mentors and Hound Pack leaders, we learned the ways of East High School. We felt the vibrations of energy at every assembly. We created lasting relationships with students, teachers, and counselors. Many of us went to our first school dance and joined our first school club. By the end of the year, we knew that this would be our second home. Our sophomore year, we started out grieving the loss of an incredible classmate. I think I speak for all of us when I say that we sorely miss his presence and could not be more proud to graduate with him, if only in spirit. This profound loss alone made the year unforgettable, but we also had many unique experiences that year. We went through the career project and our first AP exam. We experienced the joy and excitement of state hockey for the very first time. Many of us took the fan bus down or drove down with family and friends to support our greyhounds. Even those of us who couldn't care less about sports were happy to gather in the Mez and cheer on our team. We also sat through hours of painstakingly boring but necessary driver's ed classes, which despite how much we complain about them, we're grateful for because they got us our licenses and hence our freedom. Junior year rolled around and brought with it more stress than we'd ever known. This is the year we became leaders and started making decisions about both the school and our own lives. We got jobs that year. We took the dreaded ACTs and SATs. We created resumes that would impress both scholarship and college application committees. And we watched Avengers Endgame. Now for senior year. We were on top of the world. We planned out the next chapter of our lives. We solidified our relationships and took over the school. This was the year for our homecoming king and queen, our red and gray, which I have to say was pretty magical. The high school musical flash mob at lunch and kids singing were all in this together at the assembly. Little did we know that that phrase would become a sort of mantra as we finished the year off. Even though it was cut short, our senior year was incredible. These last four years have been incredible. And for that, we owe a huge debt of gratitude to the entire Greyhound community. Our custodial and cafeteria staff who cleaned up after us and put up with our antics, even when we definitely didn't deserve it. Our coaches, PTSA, administration, and school board who made sure we had a safe and supportive environment to learn, work, and compete in. Our counselors, career office staff, and librarian who gave us every resource and aid we needed to succeed and grow. Our music and art teachers who inspired us, believed in us, and nurtured our creativity. Our elective and core class teachers who taught us so much more than just textbook material. And of course, our family and friends who provided us with a support system and a home, who pushed us 
lectured us, believed in us, consoled us, and applauded us every step of the way. So, on behalf of this graduating class, I'd like to say thank you. We can't even begin to express how grateful we are for all that you have done for us these last four years. Especially these last few weeks, you have put in all your time and energy to give us closure. You've worked so hard to make sure we still get to celebrate this milestone. We truly appreciate you all, and it's my hope that we can repay your efforts by becoming strong, resourceful individuals that you can be proud of. We're already halfway there. In the last four years, we have grown as a class. We've become a united force of strength and change. We have supported and loved each other through every triumph and failure, every heartbreak and success. We made our high school experience memorable through our dedication, integrity, and diligence. Which is why I want to take this moment to say another thank you to the over 300 individuals in my class. We have had a lasting impact on each other's lives and influenced each other for the better. We wouldn't be the people that we are without each other. East High School has been a blessing beyond words, a gift that we'll cherish as we move on from this chapter. We have truly had the time of our lives. This quote from A.A. A. Milne is a perfect representation of my current sentiments. How lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. I know this is a difficult goodbye for us, class of 2020, but in the sadness of this unfinished end, let's not forget the beauty and joy of our high school career. Good afternoon, evening, or whenever you decide to watch this. My name is Hamza Rushdi, and I'd like to start off by saying how much of an honor it is to represent the graduating class of 2020 on this sacred night, or day, or really early morning. Hopefully the speech of mine will reach the standards of a commencement speech. First off, I want to thank the teachers and the faculty. I want to thank the families, especially my own. My mom and dad really wanted me to thank them. So thanks mom and dad. My friends for always being there, even when times started to get a little rough. Mountain Dew Baja Blast for helping me stay up those late nights to finish off some endless homework assignments. And most importantly, my fellow classmates for sitting through this virtual ceremony of ours as bittersweet as it may be. I'm not gonna mince any words, and I'll be saying what is on a lot of students' minds today. This really sucks. This isn't how many people saw their final year of high school ending. We've been looking forward to this day ever since our freshman year, when we saw all the seniors back then cheer at the welcome back assembly, counting down the days when they were going to graduate. We were supposed to perform in those final concerts, suffer endlessly over finals, invite that special someone out to prom, and above all else, sit all sweaty on that stage down at the deck, just waiting to receive our diplomas. However, all that isn't going to be happening this year. Instead, what we have are these replacements and these reminders of things that have been stolen from us, no thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, this may come off as me being ungrateful for the work everyone has done in order to give us our proper senior year. That couldn't be farther from the truth. I want to take a minute just to thank everyone that has put in all of this effort in order to give us the closure that we may or may not have wanted or needed for the past several years. Thank you so much for going out of your way in order to help us finish off our last year of high school. Thank you for the precautions you made in order to keep us all safe and healthy. Thank you for the care and thought you've put into us and our tender minds, especially during the current situation. While we may complain about it not being the same, we are by no means ungrateful and truly thank you for the care and the effort put in. We have finally closed this chapter of our lives and we have to start writing the next. Things will eventually go back to some state of normal. Yeah, it'll take a while. I don't doubt that. To quote one of my favorite authors, whom I'm pretty certain that the only thing he has written is this quote from a Twitter post, Jason Culverhouse. Sometimes you have to distort reality to warp it back to normalcy. What I do doubt is that this situation will last forever. Life always tends to be unfair to us in some way, shape, or form, and others may take years to fully experience that, but we've had the unfortunate chance to experience that unfairness firsthand. As we pursue higher education, or enter the workforce or military, or even travel for a few years, these times will become reminders of how strong we can be through adversity. Sam Cook recently wrote, you will know in a very real way that life is not always fair. 
He also noted that we'll have a lot of practice in dealing with it. Whenever life launches us straight back into unfairness, we can always look back at this year and think to ourselves, huh, coronavirus was a lot worse than this, huh? We'll be entering a new stage of life with a brand new perspective and the ability to keep steadfast and strong while bouncing back from rough times. Graduates of East High School's class of 2020, students, peers, friends, what we need to keep in mind is how this situation has changed us. We don't often realize how much we need something until it's taken away from us. We should realize that things, no matter how big or small, should not be taken for granted. There are some things that will only happen once within our lives, such as graduating high school. And we need to make sure to take all of those experiences and experience them to the fullest. Everything will be going back to normal at some point. Before you know it, the only things you'll have to worry about are studying for more finals, hanging out with all of your new friends, trying your absolute best to pay the costs of life. I can't wait for those to be my new focus. But I hope I'll also remember to value what I've recently found so valuable. The small things, like the freedom to go out and hang out with a friend or loved one, go to the doctor for a checkup, or even get a haircut from someone other than a family member. I plan to truly appreciate it with each and every one of you by shaking your hands, patting you on the back, or giving you a really good hug. But for now, this will have to do. Class of 2020, congratulations. And I'll see all of you soon. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go sanitize my hands. I've been fidgeting with them a little bit this entire time. Thank you. Hey, hey seniors, how, how you doing? This is officially my first commencement address from the roof of Duluth East High School. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Duluth East High School, we would like to congratulate and celebrate the achievements of this graduating class and of all the people who helped them get to that diploma. To our graduating seniors, we hope you have benefited from your time with us as much as we have benefited from you. There are some lessons that we really hope you picked up along the way. We hope you have learned that hard work pays off. Whatever you choose to do, give it everything you've got. Be the very best friend, parent, significant other, volunteer, employee, citizen, student, and human being that you can be. These things all take time and they all take effort. Everyone you encounter will feel the effects of your efforts. We have felt it at East in our clubs and activities, on the stage, on the field, and on the court, in an auditorium, and in our classrooms. Carry that drive out into the world and nothing will be able to stop you. We also hope that you've learned that failure is going to come and it will be okay. You'll always learn from it and be stronger for it. You succeeded through at least 13 years of education to make it here, and that wasn't easy. You may have failed a test, lost a friendship, not made a team, or received the role you wanted. You may have had a bad hair day, shared a regrettable Instagram, made a poor wardrobe decision, or received a parking ticket or 20. Maybe you spent so much time in fear of failing that you missed out on an opportunity you already regret. It's okay to fail. What you do with that failure is what will define you. Embrace it. Learn from it. Don't let it get you down and don't ever be afraid to try. We want you to continue to be yourself. It is guaranteed that someone is watching this right now who adores you for who you really are. While you may have felt a little insecure in letting that show, trust me when I say that it usually shined through anyways. Duluth East High School will miss each and every individual in this class. We will be different without you. The world needs your uniqueness and you're going to change the world with it. Most importantly, we hope that you learn that whatever path you took to get to your diploma and wherever that path leads you after this, we are proud of you. I'm so proud of the way you have handled yourselves both in and out of our distance learning classrooms in these last few months. You found new ways to support each other and to stay connected. You've worked hard to stay positive and to stay connected with the teachers and staff who have been so worried about you and who have missed you so much. We know you'll remember that just because your senior year didn't turn out the way we all wanted doesn't mean your futures won't be better than you imagined. Every year I'm pleased to be the one to announce your success to the world at commencement. This year more than any other, because every single one of you had hurdles thrown in your path that none of us anticipated, none of us have ever had to deal with, and that we hope no other graduating class will ever face again. Louisa May Alcott wrote in Little Women, I am not afraid of storms, for I am learning how to sail my ship. While so much is uncertain these days, we know that you're going to be more than just fine, 
you're going to be amazing. The high school diplomas you have earned are symbolic of many things. They are symbols of years of hard work and dedication, symbols of support given by teachers and families, coaches and tutors, mentors and advisors. They are the defining symbol of the end of your time as students in the Duluth Public Schools. This class is more than just these diplomas. They are more than GPAs, credits earned, athletic achievements, passionate performances and test scores. They are more than just the class who finished high school from home. These students are unique individuals filled with promise and with gifts, talents, compassion and commitment that we at Duluth East have benefited from in the past four years. We can't wait to see what these graduating seniors accomplish and give to the world in the years to come. It is with the greatest honor that I present this class. Superintendent Gronseth and members of the Duluth Public Schools Board of Education, having met all the requirements set down by the State of Minnesota and the Duluth Public Schools, it is my pleasure to present to you the Duluth East Graduating Class of 2020. Congratulations. Duluth School Board, staff, families, graduates, and the Duluth community. It's an honor and a privilege to join with you in celebrating the graduating class of 2020 of Duluth East High School. Hope is a word we use often. We use it when we say things like, I hope I get along with my new college roommate, or I hope it doesn't rain today, or I hope we're having my favorite for dinner. And when we use the word hope in these situations, it just means that we would really like something to happen. But there are times when hope means something more to us. And it's in those times that we feel what hope is. It's when we say, I hope he's safe. I hope she gets better. I hope this ends soon. Hope draws us forward. It's what gets us out of bed in the morning and drives us to continually pursue our goals. This is the kind of hope that so many people have for you and your future. So when you read all the graduation cards and hear all the wishes people have for you in the coming days, know that it comes from the heart that there are people in your family, your school, and your community that are behind you. Our hopes for you are the kind that come from deep within. I know that I have hope, for in this class lies our future. You'll become our doctors, our mechanics, our leaders, and our neighbors. My hope for you is that you will be able to accept life as it comes, that you will have the courage to hold on to hope in the face of adversity and blaze your own trail into the future. On behalf of ISD 709 and the Duluth School Board, I hereby accept the graduating class of 2020 of Duluth East High School. We are having our virtual graduation. So we are getting our diplomas and getting to take some pictures turning our tassel. we're entering in like through the garage and then going into the auditorium and then we're doing our graduation we get flowers and um, there's epic music playing and it's just really special <laughs> It's pretty surreal because it's a lot different than it normally would be. You know, I would expect to be walking across a huge stage with a lot of people in the audience and not with just my family walking across the East Auditorium.
Daphne Ackarts, graduating with honors. Nora Acker. Cole Eiley. Ashley Albertson, graduating with honors 4.0. Nolan Aleff. Saleha Ali. Jasmine Allen. Nicholas Altonen, graduating with honors. Logan Anderson. Maggie Anderson, graduating with honors. Augustus Andrade. Joshua Ankrum. Noah Anstead. Michaela Archer. Adelaide Archibald. Ava Armstrong. Anna Artson, graduating with honors. Isak Artang. Madeline Averill. Isaac Bailey. Jackson Baker, graduating with honors 4.0. Colton Ball. Victoria Ball, graduating with honors 4.0. Nicholas Barron. Ike Bauer, graduating with honors. Alyssa Bowers, graduating with honors. Nicole Bex, graduating with honors. Eli Beach Brown, graduating with honors. Audreyana Berg, graduating with honors. Abigail Beyer, graduating with honors 4.0. Zebediah Biles. Landon Blaze. Anders Bow. Tristan Bombadiri. Mitchell Boyson, graduating with honors. Finn Broughton, graduating with honors 4.0. Kathleen Broughton, graduating with honors 4.0. Elizabeth Britton. Bryden Bronikowski. Philip Brunette. Catherine Buffington, graduating with honors. Kiara Butler. Natasha Butler. Shay Calloway, graduating with honors. Dylan Carey. Emma Carlson. Hunter Christensen. Simon Christopher, graduating with honors. Olivia Christofferson, graduating with honors. Hunter Churchill. Quinn Clark, graduating with honors. Haley Coda, graduating with honors. Mason Conlin. Madison Cool, graduating with honors 4.0. Harris Cragen, graduating with honors 4.0. Ryan Cummings. Derek Daniels. Angelique Davis, graduating with honors. Dakari Davis. Jack Derner. Clara Dick. 
Quincy Dunn, Julia Dilla, graduating with honors 4.0, Claire Early, graduating with honors, Caden Edwards, Jackson Edwards, Brent Ellison, Sarah Ender, Annika and Trekin Molnow, Aiden Erickson, Charles Erickson, Valerie Erickson, Destry Ewing, Vanessa Farrell, graduating with honors. Brooke Fido. Jack Fellman. Max Fenner. Lucas Finch. Alexander Fink. Ian Fisher. William Frank Owiak. Bailey France. Ian France, graduating with honors. Tyler Fredrickson. Claire Fresbeck. Ashley Fuller, graduating with honors 4.0. Rindy Fuller, Liam Gauman, Emily Gear, graduating with honors, Benjamin Gerber, Michaela Gill, Alexis Gillette. Ella Gish, graduating with honors 4.0. Marcus Giuliani. Cora Godfrey. Cal Gert. Cy Gert, graduating with honors. Lauren Goman, graduating with honors. Corbin Goodermont. Dante Goodwin. Sarah Gore, graduating with honors 4.0. Kylan Gran. Ryan Gressman. Andrea Grady. Aubrey Gunther, graduating with honors 4.0. Shaney Gustafson. Daniel Gustafson. Quentin Guy. Gretchen Hagenmiller, graduating with honors 4.0. Rebecca Hamilton. Nelson Hahn. Nolan Haney. Brooke Hanlon, graduating with honors. Sydney Hanna. Greta Hansen. Elena Harris. Sean Zay Hayi, graduating with honors 4.0. Kaya Hyken. Miley's Helmer, graduating with honors. Kale Hendricks, graduating with honors 4.0. Coben Hendrickson. 
Macy Hermanson. Meredith Hill, graduating with honors 4.0. Finn Hoops, graduating with honors 4.0. Jackson Wren, graduating with honors. Anna Huber. Christiana Hudson. Lyndon Hipsch. Ellie Hughes, graduating with honors. Nolan Humphreys. Abdi Hussein. Brennan Hutchinson. Kennedy Jackman, graduating with honors. Samuel Javaharian, graduating with honors. Jenna Yevjeski. Elliot Johnson, graduating with honors. Emma Johnson, graduating with honors. Gabriella Johnson, graduating with honors. Kaden Johnson. Olivia Johnson. Riley Johnson. Trevor Johnson, graduating with honors. Trey Johnston. Allison Johndahl, graduating with honors 4.0. Jaden Jones. Shava Jordan, graduating with honors. Hunter Jordan Seavey. Andrew Junala. Anna Kapsner. Skylar Caster. Conrad Kausch. Anna Kavakis, graduating with honors. John Kellner. Gabriel Kelly. Bennett Catola. Catherine Kirby, graduating with honors. Adam Klazowski. Miriam Kloss. McKenna Kolosinski. Keegan Kozlowski. Clara Kramer, graduating with honors. Katarina Kroska. Kyle Kalki. Carissa Kuyava. Maya Kunst. Anna Kuronen. Anthony Lamb. Daniel Landgren. Jessa Langloy. Zachary Lanigan, graduating with honors. Brennan Larson, graduating with honors. Peyton Latour, graduating with honors. Alona Leatherwood. Jesse Lavelle. Katie Lee, graduating with honors. Abigail Legg. Elijah Leonard, graduating with honors. Evan Leonidas. Katrina Lindgren, graduating with honors. Mariah Loeffler Kempf, graduating with honors. Elijah Lockin. Kaya Loof. 
Riley London. Ethan Mayju. Justine Martin, graduating with honors. Sarah Mason. Alexis Mathias, graduating with honors. Nicole Matson. Brianne McCorison, graduating with honors. Gus McAvoy. Tyler McGillivray. Anthony McHenry. Sophia McKillop, graduating with honors. Cullen McMahon. Charlotte Meneghini. Andrew Miller. Brandon Miller. Zachary Miner. Amelia Mitchell. Brandon Mitchell. Megan Modine. Aaron Morbitz. Caroline Momont. Bryce Morrison. Phoebe Morwood, graduating with honors. Sana Munchtava, graduating with honors. Galen Moon. Vincent Napoli Quisling. Matthew Nice, graduating with honors. Henry Nelson. Ethan Naveau. Emily Nick Savage, graduating with honors. Megan Nygaard, graduating with honors 4.0. Dylan O'Brien. Athena O'Rourke. Kana Okoro. Spencer Olson. Zoe Olson. Dolan Olson. Madison Olson. Sydney Olson. Graduating with honors. Nicholas Altmans, graduating with honors. Vera Patton. Ellen Patronis, graduating with honors. Reese Payton, graduating with honors. Riley Patterson, graduating with honors. Maggie Payette. Calvin Peller. Alexander Peterson, graduating with honors. Grace Pyre, graduating with honors. Isabella Polema. Nicholas Posh. Peter Potswall. Amy Provost. Joshua Prudholm. Eric Radke, graduating with honors 4.0. Taylor Ratnam, graduating with honors 4.0. Loki Radio. Atlee Rennan. Allie Richards. Elizabeth Ring, graduating with honors. Carl Rock, graduating with honors. Taylor Rockwell, 
graduating with honors. Margaret Rozier, graduating with honors. James Rolfe, graduating with honors. Oliver Ross. Riley Rourke, graduating with honors. Sophia Bravano, graduating with honors 4.0. A.J. Rowley. Ava Runa. Hamza Rusty, graduating with honors. Linnea Russum, graduating with honors. Jordan Saristo. Luke Salestead, graduating with honors 4.0. Macy Selfer. Christopher Sampson. Rhiannon Sanders. Michael Sanford. Madeline Sarvilla. Shea Sarvilla. Cassiana Sass. Faith Shadowald, graduating with honors. Justin Schleep, graduating with honors. Max Schulderman, graduating with honors 4.0. Georgia Schooler. Isaac Schweiger. Julia Shaw, graduating with honors. Merritt Shields, graduating with honors. Bridger Schultz. Giovanni Simonet. Taylor Scarston. Jaden Slattery. Cole Smith. Caden Smith, graduating with honors. Levi Snazza. Sheena Sanako. Tess Sowers. Anthony Spees. Anna Spencer. Sarah Spencer. Caden Stegman. Daniela Stein. Graduating with honors. Paige Sterner, graduating with honors. Molly Stingle, graduating with honors. Maya Stolp. Annabelle Stoman. Nicholas Stoman. Gavin Sumner. Madeline Sunberg. Austin Sunquist. Lindy Sapinski. Graduating with honors. Michael Sutherland. Graduating with honors 4.0. Ayla Syke. Josiah Thomas. Jabez Tigerson Lockhart. Jacob Torch. Taylor Torrance. Siri Truckee. Sean Tucker. Andrew Toomey, graduating with honors. St. Jovasic, graduating with honors. Macy Van Buskirk. Sky Van Meter. 
Madison Vavrosky. Benjamin Waddick. Avery Waller. Daniel Wapala. William Watson. Danielle Watterson. Jacob Wendinger. Lindsay Westrick, graduating with honors. Amelia Wien, graduating with honors. Peyton Wien, graduating with honors. Sophie Williams. Noah Winesett, graduating with honors. Nathan Whipson. Blake Wiseman. Colton Whitty. Marcos Woodward. John Worley. Julian Young, graduating with honors. Jacob Zeman. Anya Ziri, graduating with honors. I'm Anna Huber, co-president of the Student Government Exec Board. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank Superintendent Gronseth, Principal Sibo, and East faculty for the granting of our diplomas. Now, keeping with centuries-old tradition, we will take our place in the history of Duluth East High School by transferring our tassels from the right to left side, symbolically proclaiming our transition from one important phase in life to the next. Ready, fellow classmates? Together, let's change our tassels. Press, press the red okay. button. Okay. Try it again. Some words of wisdom for the class of 2020. John Lennon 
wrote this poignant song called Beautiful Boy, a real tearjerker for parents about now. In it, there's a line that says, life is what happens to you while you are busy making other plans. And seniors, with all you've lost, all you've experienced these past months, I know you know this all too well. But you are resilient, and I know you're going to bounce back from all that life throws at you while you are planning otherwise. Wish you the best. Hey, 2020 grads, congratulations. Welcome to the start of adult life. I got three pieces of advice for you, my rules of life. First, be nice. Be nice to those around you, whether they deserve it or not. Two, work hard. Working hard will get you the extra things. People notice it and it's good for the world around you. And three, don't forget to have fun. Now, that fun should not be detrimental to your health or well-being in any way, but don't forget to have some fun. Good luck. Hi, seniors. Oh, we're just so proud of you. It's been such a joy to work with you, and I can't wait to see what you do with your life. Happy graduation. We had a year cut short, and it's kind of sad. May is like the best time where every all the fun events are starting to happen. We'll get those someday. We'll get them back. Uh, we hope you're doing really well, uh, resilient and strong. And if you need anything, reach out because we're here for you. So we always will be. Stay in touch. Take care. Class of 2020, congratulations. You made it through one of the most difficult times any class has ever had to do. But you persevered. You did it. And that means that anything that comes up in your life, you know that you can get through it. I'm proud to call you fellow alumni of East High School, and best of luck in your future. Uh, three pieces of advice. Number one, travel the world as much as you can. Find out about other cultures and you'll even know more about your own culture when it's all said and done. Uh, two, live within your means. Uh, the cost of life is expensive, so just kind of uh, keep that in mind as you go and you'll be able to apply some of the things they taught you. Uh, three, find your passion whether it's gardening, whether it's reading, whether it's fishing. Find it and do it a lot. It's time to go fishing. Congratulations, class of 2020. You are strong, brave, and resilient. It has been an honor to be your teacher. And always remember, eat your fruits and vegetables, wear your seatbelts, look both ways when you cross the street, be good to each other, and we will all be together really soon. Congratulations. Good luck, Greyhounds, we'll miss the class of 2020. Thanks. Go Greyhounds. Hey, class of 2020, I just wanted to do my shout out. As you have progressed through the years, so have your shirts here at East. So I am showing you all your shirts that you have had since your freshman year. It's a lot of shirts, it's a lot of memories. And since I had a few of you for psychology class, you know how important memories are. And since I had a lot of you guys for U.S. history, you understand the importance of history in your lives as well. And knowing that, I hope you guys have an incredible journey. Make history, make lots of memories. And in your test of life, just remember, good luck, Godspeed. May the force be with you. May the odds forever be in your favor. And go Greyhounds. Hi, graduates of 2020. This is not the celebration you anticipated. I know that tonight you would rather be at the Deck Auditorium if you are East High School. You'd rather be home with Hunter Pride in the beautiful auditorium at Denfeld. Or you'd rather be at St. Scholastica Area Learning Center and Online High School celebrating all together with your learning communities, your friends and your families. This is not what we get to do this year. And I just wanna acknowledge, first of all, that that's really hard. There are a lot of rituals that you have looked forward to. You've wanted to go through your elementary school and your graduation gown. You've wanted to enjoy senior night or special athletic activities. 
parades or assemblies, just simply gathering together to laugh about the stuff that's been funny, to cry about what has been hard, and to just celebrate years of learning together. However, you are special. And what you have learned this year is not what you expected. You have learned how important social connections are, how much we rely on one another and people around us, how quickly things can change and how much we need to be willing to adjust with them. And I want you to know that I am proud of you. I wish you were having the celebration that you'd hoped for, but this is the norm we have now and we're all doing the best we can with what we've got. So take pride in who you are in what you've done and what you're willing to do. Be willing to make some mistakes along the way and learn from them as you go. Take a moment to just recognize how great it feels to finish this first part of a long and healthy life. Look around you and thank your family and friends. They wanted those rituals too. They wanted to celebrate their hard work with you as family members, as supporters, as people who have loved you and watched you grow up for years. So thank you for who you are. Thank you to our families. Thank you to our educators who have had a nearly impossible job this year of helping hundreds thousands of people transition into a different norm of learning. I'm so proud of you graduates. Whatever you do, whether you stay here, move away, go on a big adventure in your future, know, know that you are always home here in Duluth. And we are Duluth proud of you. Congratulations, graduates.
it's really good that we were able to have something to look back on our time at East. I've had a great time these last four years. Have a good rest of your life. <laughs> it's definitely, I mean, like, not what you want, but I mean, I really appreciate everything that they're doing, and it feels nice that they care so much that we have a somewhat normal experience graduating. It's been nice to go to high school with you all. Uh, stay strong. I really appreciate that what everybody's doing for us, and I think like we're still all connected online, and the fact that we can still talk to each other and see each other after the pandemic, um, it really matters, and I think this graduation is definitely a special one.